Hi guys. <coughs> I thought I would just show you how to make like a mm, weed shaping in Fusion 360 again. Sometimes you will have the need to uh, make something that seems like a loft, but you want it to be um, connecting using two kinds of rails. Hang on a bit, I need to adjust my volume. Uh, properties. Like that, I think it's better now. Yeah, now it's better. Um, <coughs> in this case, I, I have made a, I have I have an object here, and I want to create a surface that follows uh, the line around here. But I also wanted to follow the surface here, and I wanted to be sort of uh, lofted up like this. And to be able to do this, you can use the surface sweep command. So what you do is you go in here and you select, okay, I want to create a sweep. And instead of single path, which only let you like sweep something in a circle or something uh, similar like that, or a specific path, just one path, you can select uh, guide rail or guide surface. So I could have selected that, but I, this time I'll use path and the guide rail. So the, the profile is the thing you want to uh, sweep. So in this case, it's this line. So I want the finished object to have this curve from this to this. And then the next one you select is uh, the path you want it to go. In this case, I want it to do a circular path. And this cannot be the path at the bottom. Uh, it will give an error. So path, click on path here, and then I have offset the inside here, so I need to go in here and I need to select an inside line. Just give it a second, like this. So that's going to be my path line. And that is a circle. And then, once you start selecting your guide rail, which will be the line going around the whole shape here, uh, it will cre create a geometry. So if you're lucky like here, I can select that one and it will create a shape. And this will create a shape that fits perfectly with the disc. Sometimes uh, your guide rail may be different. Maybe you cannot select the first thing you have, then you can click one and one of the guide rails. And as long as it's going around and completes itself, it should be possible to select it. The previous time I did this, I could only select it and it's like this, the corner, this, and that will just complete. So now you see it highlights everything and then you can select. I, I recommend making a new body first because you're working with a surface, you need to make it into a closed section and then OK, new body. And there you see, have a nice shape that sort of is unison to all sides. So in this case, this will be the top of a lantern that I'm making. And I want it to, this is going to be a waterproof, uh, let's see, top. So this part here is a, is a LED light, a waterproof LED light. And I want it to insert, and then I want it to be a sort of waterproof and let the water uh, go off the sides. So, uh, that's that. So then you can just go here. And in my case, I want to make it into a solid object, so I can remove uh, the top cap for now. And then it's just a matter of putting a surface and pressing OK. Oh, that didn't work. Patch. I want to patch that surface. Uh, I don't want it to be... Okay, maybe I need to stitch that whole thing first. Uh, so do like that. Ah, it wants to stitch that side. Okay, so stitch it first. Now I can patch it. There and there. And okay. 
So because I used a line to uh, sweep it, apparently there was like a, it wasn't connected properly there, so I had to just make it solid. So there you have it. Uh, and then I need to take those objects like that. Wait, do I need that one? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I think I do because it's the bottom. Well, let me see. Which one is that one? That's the top one. And that's also the top one. I think that's the... I th don't think I need that. Let's try with these three. And stitch. And okay. There. Now I have a solid body. Okay. So I was just going to show you how to use the sweep command and uh, use two guidelines as uh, the guides for making the object. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.